Hey everybody, I'm Mike Venus, La Soul, and I'm back, and I'm here, ah! I'm here to express how awesome the force is, bro. What you're hearing right now is something, I'm, I, it's an, I'm experimenting, but what I found out this morning, just using my brain and saying, look, this is all I got. I'm about to save myself literally. Seventeen hundred. Literally. And I'm gonna explain why. So, you know, a while, maybe about a couple weeks, maybe uh, has it been a week? About a week ago. Maybe about a week or two, I don't know. I basically had put out here that I said I'm done with making beats. Now I will teach people how to make beats if you want to know how to make them. But me personally, after I release all the beats that I made on my on, on the force on my hard drive, put them up, distribute them, I'm done. And I wanted to get into generative style music. Now, what's generative style music? Basically, generative music is that it's more about creating a system. You you basically you're like a conductor, the, the force or the computer is basically playing you giving them the freedom to play something within the boundaries of what you construct so basically you're almost like world building or you're you're the the art architect of of the system you're creating that's making the music now there's certain things that you need to do to be able to make generative music generate and play without you having to physically play. One, you gotta have the ability for it to generate notes, right? And not just generate random notes, but also generate notes that you can you can pitch it to a scale so that now it can start to sound musical. And not only that, you have to have the ability to modulate certain parameters of the instrument effect or a combination of the two and you will modulate it where it's self-modulating you're setting the the system for it to say okay i want you to make this move like this or turn this up and down or like have this come on and off all that you're conducting but to to have that ability you have to have filters some type of envelope filter or LFO. So if we, that's just general, just the general basis of making generative music from what I've studied. So does the force have these things? Yes. Let's go through it. So I'm gonna do this. You can, most people, when they show these, these parameters, when they came out like a while ago, right? People were like using it for drums and stuff, and it was kind of too random. So basically, if you go into a clip on the force, you can also do this on the NPC. I'm doing this on a melodic track because like I'm not making beats. I'm making ambient, you know, experimental type music, right? So on the NPC, but I'm going to be talking about the force, but this can be translated to the NPC. It has the same thing. I don't know if I have the envelope followers that I don't know. So I'm not going to speak on that. But I know you can do this on the force. So scratch the NPC. I'm talking about the force. So if you go into a clip, you got random events, which this is what will generate your notes. You can click on it, right? You can choose melodic or drum events. This is a melodic track. I'm going to use melodic. You can choose to... Replace all events, replace all events in a note range, or add to existing events. So, you know, if you made it like a pattern, you can. Now, the, the pattern size or how many bars you can do this to is 32 max, right? So just keep that in mind. The note length is based off of the time division. So you can go from a bar all the way up to 164, 
um, of a beat. And you can also do triplets. That's optional, right? You can choose the note range. How, like what note range you want it to be in. So like in this track that I'm experimenting with, I have the range that I wanted to generate notes between C2 to C5. So this is kind of like mid to high, right? Um, you can choose for the notes to be legato, meaning whenever it generates a note, it will hold that note until it makes another note, right? To the next note. Or you can choose it not to be legato and it could just, once it make a note, it just stops based off of the note length you do, right? You can also choose to polyphony how many notes you want it to generate. It can generate up to eight notes, voicings. Then you can choose to constrict the notes to the scale or just make random notes. And then you have the ability to control or determine the density of how many notes it makes. Then you have the ability to, to set it to a particular root note and a particular scale. Now on random notes, I choose or random generated random events, I choose chromatic and I'm gonna tell you why. Like I said, you could, another part of generative music outside of just generating random notes is also taking those random notes and quantizing it to a certain scale or pitch quantize, which this has, it's called pitch quantize. You click it, you can choose your root note and you can choose any scale. So in this composition, I, I pick D sharp Lydian, right? So that means all those random notes that I made within that note range will now quantize to D sharp Liddy. Okay? So that means any note that's out of that outside of that scale will quantize to the nearest pitch that's within that scale within that particular range. Whatever octave. So if it, if if I was in if the pitch was made in let's say in the range up there around C4 and it will pitch up to either D sharp four or or C C4 or any note you know whatever and you can choose what note range you want to quantize this so it's not just like oh I can quantize all these notes I can have these notes set to a particular scale in a certain range so I could say okay down here around C2 to C uh, three, I wanted to play in this note, this key, or this scale. And then the other range, I wanted to play in a different scale that complements this scale. So I can get really, really, really like fancy, you know what I'm saying? Also, you can, you can select the, the notes you want and basically have that quantized to that particular notes that are, are selected. Okay, so like if you made a composition that's more than 32 bars, meaning you double it, and let's say after 32 bars, the latter 32 bars from bar 33 to 64, you want to change the, the actual pitch to a different scale or different key so that it, it has like this modulated feel, adding even more life to the genre of music, you can by selecting it and then choosing it, right? And it will quantize the notes to whatever range you set it to. So it's amazing, right? And then the other event that you have in, in this grid clip mode is humanize. This will determine how much human humanized time that these notes have. So it doesn't sound too robotic. You can choose if you want it to be robotic to really like humanistic, very human. You can also choose if you want the notes to play a little bit on the beat, off the beat, ahead of the beat. You can also control the length of the note, how humanized it is, and the velocity of it. You can either choose for those that type of uh, event to happen to a particular, to selected notes or to the whole thing, however you want. 
So they already had that in there. So I was like, okay, that's cool. That's I can make something random. But where the sauce is in generative music is the envelopes and the LFOs. And that came in the update of 3.0.5 update of the force. And this is where I was like, let me go and check it out myself. Because I read it in the book, the manual. It didn't really like, it said it had LFO. So I said, okay, let me check this out. You know, and like I said, from the tutorial they had when they showed the update to what people put up on you on YouTube, it's not really targeting what I wanted it to do. So I said, let me go and experiment. And that's what I did. So basically with the envelope follow, follow up, follower, that's what it's called. It's, it's under the macros. You go to menu, you go to macros and you go all the way to e and v follower now on here you get 16 envelope uh, envelopes slash lfos and you can choose if you want if it's an lfo you can choose if you want it free running or to restart on play right you can choose the frequency of the lfo and you have several different um lfo shapes that you can choose it's pretty cool and you have the envelope so let's say if you had I have this sound coming through from this track I can have it trigger an envelope that affects other things now what a, the cool thing is is that there's no limit to the macros so you can set one LFO or one one envelope to trigger multiple multiple parameters on multiple things so i have like three envelopes going on right here they're all they're all lfos though and they're all triggering different parameters on the plugin on the submix on on the the actual effects that's inserted on the track and even you can control the returns you can control whatever the effects that's that's on the master wherever you have something that you want to basically control with this this envelope or this lfo you can so this means that you can make generative music in the akai force standalone now if you have external sense um modular gear if you have Hell, you want to hook it up to the computer and control that? You can, and you can still use these LFOs and all the randomized events, pitch quantize, humanization, all that, and, and set it up per clip. You know what I'm saying? And you can record this straight to the arranger. So you can literally make generative music. I think the max bars is 999. That's pretty long. So, you know, whatever floats your boat. So this is dope. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm I'm definitely going to get more into this and I'm going to start showcasing this because this is dope. If you like generative music or you like making this type of stuff, you can make it in the Akai Force. It's not just a beat machine or or a device made to make beats. You know, I kind of touched on that because of the fact that I didn't see a lot of people doing hip hop or hip hop type beats on it. So I got into it to say, hey, if you want to get something different, try to force. Now, if you want to make generative music and you're not wanting to be tied to a computer or you don't want to spend, like I said, I was going to spend about roughly $1,700 to get, no, it's, it's probably been $1,800 to get Bitwig and Ableton suit and the push. I can save myself. I can still get those, but I can save myself a little money by doing it in the force you know what i'm saying i can still get that but i'm just saying if i wanted to save myself that money i can do that with the force so i'm mike venus la soul you can make generative music on the force i'm so excited and yeah let's get it let's get it let's get it i'm so i'm so geek bro i'm so geek and i hope you are too so with that y'all be blessed Enjoy your day. Get into this. Please let me know what you what you want to know about this generative stuff. 
in the comments and I'll I'll do my best to do videos to kind of if you want me to do the, the hold the cam and go through this and so you can visually see it I can do that too so just let me know share help my channel subscribe help me get to monetization please because then I'll, I'll go ham with this and I'm staying with the force so with that y'all be blessed I'm Mike Venus Lasso. till next time Mike out